Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to A Therapeutic Edge. I've got something really fun on the table in front of me today. This is the Jason Grant designed gripper and this thing is just <laughs> fantastic. My, my loving wife is over there making dinner so if you guys hear some rattling in the kitchen please forgive us. Um, so he was actually on uh, Christine's live today and we got a chance to talk to him about this knife and uh, come on. Now I've had this thing for a couple of weeks. I've had a chance to carry it and use it. Uh, on the live today I was I was gushing pretty hard because it just deserves it. This thing is spectacular. So what are we looking at? Well, <laughs> yes, dear, it is a knife. <laughs> uh, this is the gripper. It is a, well, it's spectacular is what it is. It is an M390 blade, full Warncliffe. It's frag pattern on the scales. It's got a full length back, well, three quarter, almost full length backspacer. Everything else is titanium. It is running on ceramic bearings. Uh, it is hollow ground, which is really wonderful. This is just a box destroying tool, and it is a comfortable carry, and it is comfortable in hand. Yeah. And I really like it. Thanks for playing. Please come again. Um, Jason is a really nice guy. Um, he told the story of how he just couldn't find the knife that he wanted, um, so he designed one. He is a tattoo artist, and I will put links to both his Brass Brigade with knife stuff and his tattoo Instagram page in the description of this video. Um, look, we get a lot of knives around here, and uh, around here, and some just work, and this is absolutely one of those. Um, look at the jimping along the spine and the blade, right? It is. I don't know, I'm really into this knife. Uh, it makes me think of considerably more expensive knives. Um, it absolutely has a similar feel in hand to the SNG. Sorry, everybody. Uh, please forgive the running water. It also has, you know, kind of a Umnumzan feel to it. Uh, the Umnumzan is a Tanto that is hollow ground. It's got sort of frag scales, pattern on the scales. Um, this is, uh, look, except this is $320. This is $700. This is $450, right? Now this knife is made by Best Tech and Best Tech is a funny knife company. What I mean by that is that they make a lot of budget stuff. That's okay. Not my favorite. Um, even their high end stuff is not really my favorite, but uh, not that long ago, for Todd Knife and Tool, they made the Best Tech Exploit. And this is the knife that showed me that they can, in fact, do really superb work when they want to. This knife uh, feels a lot more expensive than it is. And it is really good. The gripper is that level of build. Um, in fact, my favorite OEM knives in the world are made by Riot. Um, Riot does, at least used to do, really stand out and sort of standalone OEM work. And I got to tell you, Best Tech is absolutely catching up because this thing, I mean, the action is superb. He really knocked it out of the park. Look, it takes a lot at this point for me to just sort of lose my mind over a knife. It does. We see a lot of knives. This thing is very good. Now, again, they are $320. I will put a link to the website. Um, some of these black ones are still available for pre-order. Uh, there is an all like plain tie and stonewash version that he says there are more of, even though they're sold out right now. So keep your eyes open for that. Uh, let's do some size comparisons with knives that you may be a little more familiar with. Here it is against, of course, the, uh, the Grimsmo Norseman. No, you're... You're not more familiar with the Norseman? That's just, okay, we'll, we'll talk more about this later. Well, what do we have on the table? Everything seems to have moved. Well, here it is against the full-size Benchmade Presidio 2. As you can see, these knives are very, very similar in size. And there used to be a bug out on the table. Okay. 
please stand by. And I'm back. Here it is against the uh, bug out. As you can see, the gripper is just a considerably large knife. The gripper is a full size knife in it. I love it for that, right? Lots of people are making knives this size. That's very common. Uh, Jason decided to make a knife that was <laughs> bigger. <laughs> we'll see what you get for your $320. As I mentioned, it's all titanium. It's M390. It seems to be done really well. This thing holds an edge like crazy. I have cut a ton of, you can see there's even a little, little schmutz on the blade right there. I've cut a ton of things with this and it has not shown just at any interest at all in losing its edge. You get, uh, looks like three, just under three and a quarter of cutting on just, just right around 3.75 inches of M390. Now it's got a really generous forward choil, which I really like, right? It's good to get up like this, hold on to the knife, but we're gonna measure it out twice. So the grip area from behind the swell, uh, back to the end is three and a quarter, <coughs> all the way to the end, which you can come all the way out to the end, is a little over, uh, what, a little over four inches. If you include that forward choil, you're talking about one, two, one, two, three, four. He doesn't pick up my hand. Yeah, four and three quarters inches, just, I mean, it's there's tons of handle. It's really comfortable. The knife is coming in at just at a half inch, right through the thickest part. Overall length on this thing is eight and three quarters inches. Closed profile is pretty nice. Now it is, we'll get to the deployment in a second. Closed length, excuse me, coming in at five inches. Closed profile in the pocket. Looks like about an inch and a half, not too bad. It's reason it's nicely carried, right? so there's just a little bit of knife sticking out. It's reasonably deep carry. So how do you deploy this thing? Well, this is a knife with a generous option of deployment. <laughs> you can spidey flick it using the hole or the fuller. You can front flip it. And then there is this really excellent and subtle flipper tab that works every single time. This is a straight working tool with a fair amount of fidget factor, and that's awesome. It really is cool. Um, why did I have all these expensive knives on the table? Well, because I was trying to figure out what I could share with you that this thing reminds me of, and it really does remind me of some of the most high-end and sort of ridiculous knives in my collection. Um, Look, 320 bucks is not an insignificant amount of money. Uh, this is not an insignificant knife. I think you'll be really happy if you go ahead and jump on this. Once again, the information on how to get in on this pre-order will be in the description. Also, by the way, do me a favor, hit the uh, subscribe button and the like button. It does help out the channel. So that's where we're gonna leave it. Uh, well, let's weigh it. I mean, it's not milled. Uh, maybe a little, yeah, let me see. I have a flashlight handy. There's a little milling towards the back. Yeah, there's milling. Um, so it's a little milled. It's not as heavy as it could be, but it still has a really stout and stable feel. It's, it's fantastic. I know, I'm kind of all over the map with this video, but you know, whatever, that's what you get. We come in at 5.7 ounces, which is, I mean, but it's almost a nine inch knife, right? Undum's on coming in at five. Strider SNG coming in at 5.5. The other best tech on the table coming in at five. So yeah, I mean, it's right in there. Um, you're not gonna wanna wear this with like basketball shorts, but any sort of pants. I wore this thing with slacks this week when I went to work and it was <laughs> worked out beautifully. Uh, you get tons of grip because of the frag pattern, but none of it bites. The edges on this thing are all knocked down in such a way that it feels firmly locked into hand. It doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hand without feeling like it's going to bite you, except right where you want it to, right here on that edge. And that's where we are going to leave it. This is the Grant Design Gripper uh, from Jason Grant over at Brass Brigade. Feel free to check out his Instagram and hit up his website if you're interested in this <laughs> wonderful knife. Um... I hope, you've get, I hope you guys have enjoyed this look at it. I know I have enjoyed having it. I'm going to be so sad when this has to move on, but don't worry. I am going to get one for myself, 
And I think Women Carry Knives is likely to get one that just looks just like this for herself. Although he did mention purple. some alternative backspacer and maybe some pivot ring options, pivot collar options, maybe purple. So maybe that's what she's going to do. Anyway, Jason, you designed a hell of a knife. It has been absolutely my pleasure to have it on the channel. Thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, this again is the uh, Grant Gripper designed by Jason Grant. I hope you've enjoyed this look at it. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.